Our best contributor last year was a company called Colroyd, which uh, I suspect not many people will know. Belgium retailer. As a Belgium oh, Of course you know. <laughs> uh, and uh, this is a really uh, an, uh, everyday low price model, has 32% market share of the Belgian food market. Um, but there was a price war. And there was a price war during 2021 to 22 that resulted in margins going from 4 or 5% down to about one, uh, obviously multiple donors, stock derated. But what was interesting, what we identified a year and a half ago, was that it's effectively a family-owned business, that they'd also been investing in a number of wind projects. And at the absolute nadir of the margin in, uh, in the Belgian food retail market, we identified through some of the work we've been doing in terms of the wind market, that their assets were probably worth a billion euros. And the market cap at the time was three billion. Uh, so we thought that was a great opportunity. The share price was around 20. And then the company has actually subsequently tried to have sold some of those assets. So that, that is cash that's coming back to coming back to shareholders. And incrementally, our work was showing that we thought the price war that our holder were doing with them would diminish. Uh, and consequently, in the last year or so, margins have gone back up to sort of four and a half. The shares have more than doubled. So it's, it's one of those examples where we knew the company incredibly well. They had a difficult period we were able to identify an asset that no one else was talking about uh, and also that there would be an upswing. Um, and so that was really a great example of when you find something that nobody really is looking at. 